Hi, this is Mariah. Welcome to your Daily Mana, Day 69. Today we're reading Exodus chapter 19, where some really cool things are going to happen on Mount Sinai. Let's begin our reading. On the third new moon after the people of Israel had gone out from the land of Egypt, on that day they came into the wilderness of Sinai. They set out from Redfim and came into the wilderness of Sinai, and they encamped. Sorry, my phone just turned black. Sorry. Where was I? And they set out from Redifim and came into the wilderness of Sinai, and they encamped in the wilderness. There Israel encamped before the mountain, while Moses went up to God. The Lord called to him out of the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, and tell the people Israel, You yourselves have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now therefore, if you will indeed Obey my voice and keep my covenant. You shall be my treasured possession among all peoples, for all the earth is mine, and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the people of Israel. So Moses came and called the elders of the people and set before them all these words that the Lord had commanded him. And the people answered together and said, all that the Lord has spoken, we will do. Amen. I sure hope so. And Moses reported the words of the people to the Lord. And the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I am coming to you in a thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with you, and also may believe you forever. When Moses told the words of the people to the Lord, the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow. And let them wash their garments and be ready for the third day. For on the third day, the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. And the Lord's a holy God. So getting yourself clean physically is symbolic to getting your heart clean, preparing yourself for the Lord. And you shall set limits for the people all around, saying, Take care not to go up into the mountain or touch the edge of it. Whoever touches the mountain shall be put to death. No hand shall touch him, but he shall be stoned or shot. Whether beast or man, he shall not oh, live. Oh, that's pretty serious now. Hey, I see you Israelites. I see you looking up that mountain. Don't you do it. Don't you dare. Get, get back. Oh, I see you looking. Get back. Don't you touch it. You're going to die. When the trumpet sounds a long blast, they shall come up to the mountain. So Moses went down from the mountain to the people and consecrated the people. And they washed their garments. And he said to the people, Be ready for the third day. Do not go near a woman. On the morning of the third day, there, there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud on the mountain and a very loud trumpet blast so that all the people in the camp trembled. Then Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet God. And they took their stand at the foot of the mountain. Now Mount Sinai was wrapped in smoke because the Lord had descended on it in fire. The smoke went, the smoke of it went up like smoke of a kiln, and the whole mountain trembled greatly. And as the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder, Moses spoke, and God answered him in thunder. The Lord came down on Mount Sinai to the top of the mountain. And the Lord called Moses to the top of the mountain. And guess what? Moses went up. That's pretty brave. I would be terrified. And the Lord said to Moses, Go down and warn the people, lest they break through to the Lord to look, and many of them perish. Also let the priests who come near to the Lord consecrate themselves, lest the Lord break out against them. And Moses said to the Lord, the people cannot come up to Mount Sinai, for you yourself warned us, saying, Set limits around the mountain and consecrate it. And the Lord said to Moses, Go down and come up bringing Aaron with you, but do not let the priest and the people break through to come up to the Lord, lest he break out against them. So Moses went down to the people and told them, and told them again, and again, all of God's commands because they don't listen. Just like we have to be told over and over again God's truths. That's why the Bible repeats itself. We're not good at listening and submitting to God. 
And that was a reading of Exodus chapter 19. Yeah, God is a God to be feared. He's very powerful and holy. So much so that, you know, we like to think, think of ourselves as basically good, you know. Um, so we should all go to heaven. But compared to God's holiness and his moral standard, we are filthy. Our basically good amounts to evil. So um, it's, it sounds harsh, but that's the true reality. That's why Jesus was necessary, his sacrifice to save us. We are not good enough for heaven. We're not even good enough to approach Mount Sinai when God's presence was there. It was His holiness was so great. Anyone who touched it was worthy of death. Um, it's just so hard to wrap our minds around that because God is so holy. Like We can't even fathom that level of perfection. But thankfully, we have Jesus, so we can approach God without fear, because he washes all that filth and our shame away from us, and he gives us a new heart, a new mind. And even though we do mess up from time to time, because our bodies are still corrupted, it's our spirits that have been washed clean, not our bodies, and so we have to struggle with the flesh. But if you're in Christ, he, he inputs his righteousness, in, righteousness into you, so you don't have to rely on your own goodness. You just trust in the Lord. And when you trust in the Lord, that's more than just saying a prayer and calling it good. That's actually communing with him every day, walking by faith with him, like immersing yourself in the teachings and the in the presence of who your Savior is. You know, it's that intimacy with God and him living in you that makes you clean before the Father. So um, Jesus is necessary. <laughs> Um, anyways, that was our reading of Exodus chapter 19. Tomorrow, we're going to read about the Ten Commandments in the 20th chapter. So anyways, I just want to take the time to thank you for listening. I hope you have a great day. God bless and stay humble and sure the faith. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.